and welcome back to another week of September 2021 content. And this week I'm going to be talking you through another couple of the chimes uh, and those will be individual and maintenance. We'll start today with individual with an overview and some things to think about. Tomorrow we'll give you an example, a real life example of where some of these um, individual, these human factors have played a part in uh, causing some slip and fall issues. And then later in the week, we'll go on to maintenance. So uh, individual, this really is human factors. So we can all walk on slippery floors without slipping, if you think about it, um, either because we can change the way we walk in order to walk safely, or as has happened to me on several, time, several times, uh, we might slip but not fall. In other words, we can self-address to stop ourselves from falling. So there's a couple of key factors we need to think about. There's the physiological and psychological when it comes to individuals. Physiological, physical things, psychological, uh, mental things. So age is one of the things we need to consider. So statistically, uh, the older you are, the more susceptible you are to slipping and falling. Uh, and actually, there's also a sex uh, issue here as well. Older women uh, are more likely to fall than older men. But also, if you're young, for example, think of children running around uh, swimming pool sides when they shouldn't. Uh, of course, there's a likelihood if you're herring around that you're more likely to, uh, to fall as well. When you're walking in a straight line on a flat surface at a normal pace, you require a certain amount of friction uh, to walk safely. But if you start doing anything kind of non-standard, um, then your requirement for friction changes. And so one of the ways that human factors play a part is if we're doing something other than walking in that kind of normal way. So if we look here, we've got rushing, we've got pushing, we've got pulling, carrying, uh, twisting and turning. Any of these things that happen on a daily basis uh, in all sorts of scenarios will mean that there's a greater likelihood of someone slipping. So you need to think about the ways that you can manage that from happening in your business, if that's possible. Uh, the other thing that we need to be thinking a lot about is distractions. So we're in the world of mobile phones and think of this person uh, walking along here, uh, glued to his mobile phone, and that's fine. But what about if there's a puddle of water on the floor uh, he's looking at his phone, he doesn't see the puddle, he's likely to slip and he's probably going to fall because he's distracted and he's not looking at what he's doing. Similar thing here, which we see, this is an example from retail, but you see all sorts of examples of distracting imagery, uh, screens, noises as well, lights can be other things that distract people. And again, that's fine if the floor's dry, but what about if we introduce some contamination on the floor? Now, when it comes to human factors, of course, there's a big difference between staff and members of the public. So if you've got staff, it's relatively easy, certainly easier to control these individual factors, these human factors, because you can put in place rules, regulations, you can train, uh, and you can really insist on certain types of behavior. Whereas with customers, members of the public, it's much, much more difficult. You're then really relying upon requests. Uh, and so when you think about chimes holistically, as we always say you should, um, consider the fact that as with heel and footwear, there's only a certain amount you can do when it comes to people that aren't members of staff to control what's going on. So I hope that's given you a bit of an introduction into individual and what that means when it comes to slip safety. Hope that's been useful. Uh, tomorrow, I'll give you some examples of bringing this to life for you and talk about a real life scenario that I've had to deal with or, or help uh, a client to contend with where some of these human factors were really at play. As always, uh, like and comment on this video, uh, follow Sliptember, use the hashtag Sliptember as well, and be in with a chance of winning one of the 50,000 pounds of free slip tests on offer this month. Cheers.